I call this meeting of the Upshur County Commission order. We'll begin with a moment of silent meditation and prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Rafferty reviewed the following for your information items. 
correspondence from Robert L. Pennington, West Virginia Division of Highways, the Statewide Transportation Improvement Program, 2015 through 2020, comment deadline September 9, 2014. Correspondence from Mary Jo Thompson, West Virginia Development Office, invitation to submit applications for fiscal year 2014 Land and Water Conservation Fund. Correspondence from Gregory S. Myers, Acting Public Assistant Officer, Close of FEMA Projects. Correspondence from Jacob Rieger, Upshur County Prosecuting Attorney, Annual Accounting of the Asset Forfeiture Account, July 1st, 2013 through June 30th, 2014. Agendas and notices of meetings as listed, meeting minutes as listed, meetings as listed, appointments needed or upcoming as listed. At 9.40 a.m., Joseph Reed appeared before the Commission and requested approval for a biannual joint session of the Upshur County Commission and the Buckhannon City Council, allowing local students the opportunity to suggest improvements. After discussion on motion by Donnie Tenney, seconded by Troy Brady, the Commission approved the request with the suggestion that the students attend both meetings separately prior to the joint meeting. The Commission approved all invoices for payment. As requested, an interviewee appeared before the Commission to meet in executive session for West Virginia Code Section 6-9A-4 concerning personnel issues. At 11.25 a.m., on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by Donnie Tenney, the Commission entered executive session. There were present J.C. Rafferty, Donnie Tenney, Troy Brady, Kelly Cunningham, and the interviewee. The Commission returned to open session at 11.45 a.m. No decisions were made in executive session. The Commission approved all vacation orders. The Commission approved the following consolidations of land tracts as listed. The Commission approved the following settlements as listed. The Commission approved the following exonerations and or refunds as listed. The Commission approved the following request to attend meeting as listed. And the Commission approved the following request for time out of office as listed. With no further business, on motion by Donnie Tenney, seconded by Troy Brady, the Commission adjourned at 1 p.m. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes as read? If not, I request a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Tina. Appreciate it. Before getting started with the meeting, I just want to make an announcement on this agenda that we have provided today. It is slightly different than the one that was emailed out. The meetings, or sorry, the agendas and our notices of meetings have been deleted. There were five, I believe, listed under there because they were the ones from last week. So they were already covered. Okay, thank you. We have no uh, scheduled appointments uh, for the day, so we will move to our items for discussion, action, approval. Uh, first item on the agenda is appointment of James W. Curry Library Advisory Board member based upon a request by Brenda Lewis, Eskew, and Paul McGrew, who both expressed an interest in that position uh, through letters uh, sent to the commission. Uh, as indicated by our uh, minutes that have been read from last meeting, uh, those two letters, uh, requests were submitted to the administrators for review and a recommendation. Have you had a chance this week to review the uh, uh, backgrounds and the uh, qualifications uh, of the applicants? And uh, so have you made a decision, a recommendation? I have obtained some background just in my time being here, as short as it may have been. Um, but in reviewing the letters, it would be my recommendation that um, the Commission consider the appointment of Paula McGrew. Um, and that's in no way trying to take away from the, the time that Brenda Lewis SQ has given and had with the Curry Library. So it looks like she's had extensive history with the library and that's so greatly appreciated that, that she did that. And would hope that she would continue to support the library in their efforts and people interested in the library but I thought um, just for a number of the things that um, they're trying to do at the library that it would maybe be nice to have um, this other librarian that comes from West Virginia Wetland and I also saw in her letter of interest that um, she is um, has been the health science librarian at United Health Center the United Hospital Center and I thought maybe with her her background and her information, she might be another um, person to have some resources available other places because I think they're needing some additional books and those sort of things at the library and that, that might give another avenue. So I think it would be great to have an additional person that could provide, help the library grow, but then you could still have um, Ms. Uh, 
Lewis SQ still providing support to the library for their own community involvement. So I would recommend to the commission to consider um, following the group for the appointment. Thank you very much. Are there any comments or observations by the other commissioners on this issue? I would agree on Harley. I think that uh, she, she could bring a, a different perspective. Uh, and uh, after the presentation last week uh, by our president, I'm very, I was very impressed with what she's doing and her report. And I think that uh, I think Mr. Curry would, would be very pleased with what's, what's happening up there. And, uh, so based on that, I would uh, I would offer a motion. Group, I have a second to that motion. You do have a second. Okay, having a um, motion been made and seconded, is all in favor say aye. 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 All the same sign, motion carried. Uh, next, we have a request from Thomas O'Neill Esquire uh, to remove himself <coughs> as a fiduciary commissioner, signing that he has taken a position as corporate counsel with a, uh, a business in the vicinity of Buchanan. Uh, it was requested that his uh, matters be transferred to other fiduciary commissioners. Do you have a motion to approve that request? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say sign. Third, we have approval for an advertisement for part-time housekeeping custodian position, working no more than 29.5 hours per week at $8 per hour, for the, that'd be for the courthouse and annex. Application is to be accepted until the close of business on September 12, 2014. That's been necessitated by the resignation, I believe, or termination of the previous employee. Um, did that last week. So, uh, do I have a motion to approve the uh, advertisement for that position? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Next, we have a request of employment for a full time tax deputy and named Carol S. Potts, effective August 25, 2014, at $8 per hour. That request being made by Sheriff uh, David Kaufman and whether dated uh, August, uh, excuse me, whether dated, let's see, on page up there. Yeah. Letter dated August 18th. So I have a motion uh, to approve that in the point. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries. Next, we have employment of part-time temporary intensive outpatient facilitator, David Campbell, for community corrections at the rate of $15 per hour to be reimbursed in its entirety by the local match account. And that will be pursuant to a uh, facilitator, I believe, the same as an instructor uh, for the program, and that uh, the class will be held for six weeks at nine hours per week totaling 54 hours, and that the grant goals uh, for the 2014-2015 grant goals objectives uh, were that they were to offer such a class every quarter. So in keeping with that uh, request, do I have a motion to uh, approve that request? So, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed saying sign, motion carries. We have uh, next on free information items, a correspondence from Robert L. Pennington, West Virginia Department of Highways, uh, statewide transportation improvement program. Uh, this is the third such uh, correspondence, I think, in as many weeks, announcing projects that they will be uh, conducting. A review of uh, the information you provided shows that there are no projects uh, in Upshur County, uh, but there is a comment deadline by the public of August 16, 2014. Next, we have our cat report and our dog report from the animal shelter. And we have an invitation to, uh, from the Family Resource Network, Joyce Harris Thacker, to the Children's Festival to be held at Stocker Youth Center on September 20, 2014, between the hours of 10 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's always a well-run, uh, outstanding opportunity for parents to bring their children, or grandparents to bring their grandchildren to that. Uh, festival and engage in a lot of uh, wholesome, healthy activities. Uh, next, we have agendas and other of meetings, and we have meeting minutes, and then we have uh, scheduled meetings. Barring any other comments or any additional uh, items for <coughs> consideration, we will now move to pay our bills. <coughs> 